What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top platinum trophies on the PlayStation 4. Let's get right into this. So as you guys know, I am a trophy hunter on the PlayStation 4 and I'm always trying to get games that I can not only get a platinum trophy for and earn a lot of trophies along the way, but also just to have fun and I've been clearing up a lot of my backlog lately so I've been grinding out and trying to get a lot of Platinums so today is a list of some of my favorite Platinums that I've gotten on the PlayStation 4 up first is A Way Out A Way Out is a co-op based campaign style game that involves you playing with a friend and that's what I'd recommend rather than playing with a stranger play with a friend just to have the whole experience of the campaign and the story because the story is very emotional and just to experience that with somebody that you know would make it a lot better in my opinion because that's what I did and I thought the game was awesome. Basically one player controls one prisoner, the other player controls the other prisoner and you go through the story, you learn about the past, you escape from prison and then you learn about each other's common interests and goals of what you guys want to do after prison once you escape. Even though you are on the run, a lot of things happen along the way and at the end, you guys basically go against each other. So it's very interesting. I'm not going to give any spoilers other than that. If I had to rank this game, I would literally rank it 9 out of 10. Because the story is just so in-depth and so crazy that I was really impressed by it. And I would definitely recommend it if you're into not only getting platinum trophies and earning trophies with somebody. But it's definitely something fun to play with a friend. And you don't even need to own this game. If your friend owns this game, you can have them share it with you and you will get the trophies along the way. So not both people playing this need to own the game. Only one person needs to own the game and they can invite you and you'll earn the trophies as well. The next game is Marvel's Spider-Man. This, for me, was one of my favorite games on the PS4 period. And the main reason for that is not only is it a really easy platinum to get, it was only took me I think two weeks to do so it doesn't take very long but the story is so amazing and so in-depth that it's just really really well put together it's one of my favorite games on the PS4 not only that the web slinging abilities the mechanics for web slinging are so advanced and you get to do stuff that you couldn't even imagine to do so it's really awesome the different suits you get to play as spider-man are really cool the different gadgets you get to use all of the different villains along the way throughout the story that you get to take down and defeat are awesome. I honestly feel like they should have added a few more, but at the end of the game, there is a huge cliffhanger that basically implies that there will be another game in the future. And I really hope that they decide to do this because this game was so successful that once the PS5 comes out, and once that hits, I feel like that's what they'll plan on doing is making a second game, of course. You have Marvel's Avengers coming out as well later this year. So with Marvel's Avenger and Marvel in general creating more video games, I very highly hope that there is a second Spider-Man game in the near future. And also, Stan Lee makes an appearance in the game. He has a small little cameo, and that to me was an awesome touch for them to add. And I think since the passing of Stan Lee... If they were to do more video games like this in the future, I really hope that they include more Stan Lee cameos. So this game here, if I have to rank it, I'm going to rank it 9 out of 10 as well. The next game is Fire Cry 5, which is the first Fire Cry game that I played. The reason that I decided to get it, not only was it on sale, like most of my games are whenever I purchase them, but the story behind it and the trailers that I've watched with the whole cult aspect in America, I thought that was very interesting. And where it is in America, I can't remember if it's in Colorado or not, or basically there's a lot of wilderness and a lot of hunting and fishing that you can do while completing the game. The story is so amazing and so in-depth, and you can also play the campaign with a friend in co-op, but you can also do it alone. To get the Platinum, you have to play the whole game on your own and do the whole story mode. And because there's a lot of trophies for story mode that once you pass a certain part, you have to do that solo. You can't have a friend. So what I planned on doing is I got the platinum trophy and I plan on helping my other friend get it in the future. But if he wants to get the platinum, he's going to have to play it on his own first run through as well. The game is so awesome. I wish the only difference is 
I kind of wish they would have added more customization options to vehicle other than paint. I really wish you could customize your vehicles or even the guns a little bit more. Make them your own instead of just purchasing a wrap or purchasing a customized version of the gun. To be able to create your own, I think that would have been awesome, but the game is epic. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 from me. The next game, keeping along the Far Cry theme, is Far Cry New Dawn. New Dawn is the continuation from Far Cry 5. Originally, New Dawn was supposed to be a DLC for Far Cry 5, but they realized that New Dawn was so big that there was no point for them releasing it as a DLC for Far Cry 5. Just a year later, they decided to release it on its own as its separate game, which I'm glad they did because it's a post-apocalyptic game after the events of Far Cry 5 and it's kind of a shorter game of course it's just supposed to be a DLC to begin with but it's a little bit larger than what a DLC usually is and typically is so I would highly recommend it it's not too hard to get the platinum compared to Far Cry 5 I can't remember if there's any online trophies for New Dawn but to me the trophies for New Dawn to get the platinum were a lot easier than they were for Far Cry 5 this one here, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 as well. Next is going to be Need for Speed 2015. And for me, that I absolutely love racing games. If you do as well, I highly recommend it. It is going to take a little bit of a grind to get all of the trophies because I think you have to reach at least level 75 to get all of the trophies and platinum. Some of the trophies along the way are a little bit tricky to get and it is going to take a lot of patience, but it's a lot of fun. This game here, once this game, the game after was Need for Speed Payback, which I thought was a little bit of a letdown. This game here, Need for Speed 2015, they have a lot more customization options for your vehicles, a lot more vehicles in the game to begin with. And the story has a lot of a cinematic aspect to it because it's live action instead of just having the uh, capture suits on people. It's actual live actors in the cinematic events of the game. So. This game here, I'm going to rank it a 7 out of 10. It's one of my favorite Need for Speed games that I've ever played. Next is going to be Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. This is one of my favorite childhood games back on the PlayStation 2 days. But back then, I never beat the game. I got maybe about halfway mark, but I never made it to beat the game. I just, whenever I was playing back on the PS2, I was more into getting the cheat codes and using them and just having fun and just playing the game like that rather than trying to beat the campaign mode and trying to beat the game itself. Once it came out on the PS4, I literally paid maybe one or two dollars for it because there was a huge discount sale and I went through and the one thing I will say is if you get Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, if you plan on getting the platinum for this game, do not, I repeat, do not use any cheat codes until after you've beaten and gotten the platinum because it's going to disable all the trophies moving forward. So once you use your first cheat code in the game, you will not be able to get any trophies from that point on. Even if you hit save or go back and create a new file, all cheat codes, once you use them, you disable all trophies moving forward. So the game, to do it without cheat codes, it takes a little bit of a grind. You're going to have to spend money to make money. And you're going to have to use that to buy ammo, buy armor, buy a whole bunch of stuff to help you progress through the missions. It's honestly not that hard to do. It takes a lot of effort and a lot of grind work. But you can definitely do this within, I want to say I beat it within a week and got the platinum because there's a lot of them. One of the mercenary missions were extremely difficult. Just take your time. Check out online if you need a walkthrough. But this game here, one of my favorite Grand Theft Auto games of all time. Platinum's not too difficult, takes a little bit of grind work. I'm going to rank it an 8 out of 10 from me. Next is going to be two LEGO games, and these are going to be the last two games on my list. Up first is LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. The game itself is amazing. It's a great story, and it has so many of the Marvel Super Heroes in it that it doesn't follow one of the movies. It's all original story, and I think that was very incredible for them to do. The part, part to get the Platinum... You basically have to play the story mode, which is all the levels, one run through. Then you can go into the center hub and go around, I think it's New York City, and you get all the remaining collectibles. And then you have to play a second run through of the whole game, all of the levels, as a free play, which means you get to select all the characters because there's certain areas that only certain characters can go, and you can't get all of the collectibles in story mode. You have to go back and play free mode to get them. 
once you unlock everything and get all the collectibles, you'll end up getting the Platinum. And this is one of the LEGO games that I'd highly recommend it because it's a lot of fun and it doesn't take too long to get the Platinum. This LEGO game, I'm going to rank it an 8 out of 10 as well. It's a lot of fun, as all these games on this list are. And the last game is LEGO Jurassic World. It basically follows the first three uh, Jurassic Park movies from back in the day. And then it has the first Jurassic World movie in it as well. So it basically follows loosely the movies of how the events of the movies were. But once you finish, just like the Lego Marvel superheroes, once you finish the first playthrough of the story, you can go back through each of the worlds and get the remaining collectibles. And then you can go back and play in free play mode and beat all of the levels again and get all the remaining collectibles. And by doing that, you'll get the Platinum. So this game here, just as fun as Lego Marvel Super Heroes, I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. So these are my top Platinum trophies that I earned on the PlayStation 4. These, in my opinion, are the games that I would recommend for if not only you are a trophy hunter, these are definitely easy trophies to get and easy Platinums to get. But if you're just a gamer that likes to enjoy getting games and earning trophies along the way, these games, in my opinion, are a lot of fun. So I'm going to leave this video here. Comment down below what are some of your favorite Platinum trophies you've earned on the PS4. I've earned a lot more than this, but these are my most favorite ones that I've earned because they were a lot of fun to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please take care. Peace.